Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. I know, it's a different setup. I've just filmed a book video and it's very dark outside, sorry about the lighting. So I'm just gonna stay here and do it because why not? It's a bit of a change, isn't it? Um, I have one cat in the window. He may really interrupt my filming at some point. That's Teddy over there, if you see him come into frame. We have a very sleepy Billy up here. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Billy is up there. Oh, Teddy's already gone onto the floor. Behave yourself. Right, so today's video, I'm actually probably going to do more of these because there's so many cool things on Etsy. I, I keep forgetting because for a long time my app broke on my phone and it would never, it wouldn't even fire up. I don't know if that's happened to anybody else. But anyway, I was on I was on Etsy the other day because I found, found a really cool planter and I thought, hey, I could do not necessarily a series, but I want to cover some really cool things plant related that I found on Etsy. I can show them to you. If you like them, you can have a look. Maybe it's for a present for somebody or not. Uh, it's not plants, it's plant related things, so like pots, things like that, some crafty items maybe. Just because, honestly, we've probably all got enough plants. It's coming into, you know, Christmas, no one's really buying plants anymore like that, I don't think. But we could all use a good plant pot and some other things. So I just kind of wanted to show you them really. So let me just get up my list because I've lost it, lovely. I think all of these products should ship to the US by the way. I actually set my location to the US to find these. A lot of them still ship to me, I think. Can't quite remember, but I did set it to US. So if you're from the US and you're watching, these should be, you know, these things should work for you. Because normally if they sell to the US, they'll, they'll sell nearly anywhere in my experience. So they're not in any particular order, but there are a lot of plant pots on here or planters, I should call them. And some of these look so cool, so cool. So I want to start with this one. I absolutely adore this one. This is so cool. This is the, this is actually the thing that started the video for me. So it is a goddess head planter. Home decor, melted woman, Medusa face planter, 3D printed. Teddy! Wait one minute, guys. Teddy! My cat just pulled a plant pot over. It's almost like he could hear me talking about planters. Great, love that for me. So yeah, so this is like a goddess head and it just looks so cool. It's 3D printed, which a lot of these are, so hopefully you're a fan. Um, and it's like a weird two-tone effect and there are different colors, different sizes. I think the one that caught my eye was the greenish tinted one, was it the green and purple one? There's loads of different ones and I just think it's really cool. I think if it was me, I'd almost want to, it's very cliche, but I'd try and put something trailing in or something like that, or maybe like a very small combo of plants. But that's really, really cool. I love that one. So the next one, this is adorable, oh my God. The thing I can imagine in this is, I don't know what type of cacti it is, guys, because I'm not into cacti, as you well you know. Um, it's some sort of like short, bulbous, round cacti. But this is basically, it's called a cake cone planter. I would call them over here an ice cream cone planter. And it's this cute little ice cream cone. And the base of the planter is like a little blob of like melted ice cream and you can obviously get different colors. There is like a whole chart on there of all the different colors you can get. It looks so cute. It doesn't look huge, but it doesn't look tiny either. It is it is hard to tell from the pictures, don't get me wrong, but that is just the most adorable thing ever. For, for me, I, I see it as like a desk planter, if you had like a desk at work or something. I think that's really cool. I think that would look really cute on a desk. Maybe even like a tiny little side table or a coffee table or something. Really, really cute. It looks like it's got, yeah, it's got drainage. It's got some aeration in there. It looks really, really cool. I love that. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. I think that could easily hold soil or maybe even pond or something like that. It's just adorable. I love it. What are you doing, baby? Oh, bye. Yeah, go sort your brother out because he's tearing up the house. So that's another really, really cute one. I love that. I love finding all this stuff online. It's just, it's really good for gift giving and stuff like that. Oh, speaking of finding things online, I want to show you what I found this month on Skillshare. If you have a specific skill you're trying to learn, or maybe you just want to browse and learn something new for a hobby, then Skillshare is a fantastic place to start. Skillshare is an ad-free online learning platform with thousands of classes, absolutely thousands of classes, for anything on stuff to do with hobbies, changing your workflow, maybe getting creative for a project you're working on, you name it, it's probably on there. It's probably on there guys. The cool class that I found this month is by Anna Marku offering a complete guide to decorating with your house plans. So a little bit of home decor, a little bit of styling. She takes you through everything from light requirements, different styles of planter, composition, everything you possibly need to either arrange a plant collection or maybe you're just looking for a bit of a refresh, maybe you've downsized, anything of the sort. Anna takes you through everything you need to know. It's really concise and really easy 
easy to understand. I've been using Skillshare for a few months now, I think, and I'm honestly finding it really, really fun. I always find something new to learn, and it never takes me long to learn it. These classes are quite concise, they don't take up all of your time. I've learned so many more skills than when I started, from like watercolour to workflow to macrame to literally anything. So if you are interested, guys, you can try Skillshare for, wait for it, absolutely free. Free. So the first 500 people to use my link in the description will get one month free of Skillshare. So please use my link, click on it, and get Skillshare today. Try it out, see if you like it. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video, and now we will get back to the awesome things that we have found on Etsy. Oh my god, oh my god, this is so cute. This, ah, uh... Right, so a lot of these, if you're not picking up on that, a lot of these are novelty, but some of these are so cool, right? So this here, let me load it up for you. This is, oh, it's so cute. It does look small because I can see that the plants in it are Ikea plants, but it maybe looks about 12 centimeters, something like that. This is the best gift ever for somebody. This is fantastic. This is a Chinese takeout box planter. I love it. And you know what? This is kind of like a side note, but I'm a little bit obsessed with these Chinese boxes, right? Because, I don't know if you guys know this, but in the UK, these aren't very common. I don't know if they are in the US, so please let me know in the comments if they are for you. But over here, when we get Chinese takeaways, they don't really come in those boxes. They don't really come in those boxes. And I always have really liked them. I always get very envious when I see them on movies and stuff, because I just want to eat from a box, quite honestly. And... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm 12. And these just look so, so cute. I think they're absolutely adorable. Again, great gift. I'm assuming the chopsticks aren't included. Does it say? Free chopsticks. You do get the chopsticks, guys. If you didn't already have chopsticks, you get them free. I think that's so cute. Honestly, how cute is that? Again, for me, it is more of like a desk plant item. If you're at work or you've got an office or dressing table, whatever you want. I just think that's wicked. I think that's so cute. So what have we got next? Oh! So cute. Oh my god, this one. Honestly, I don't find much cute in my lifetime, but these are really cute. So I found, guys, I found these, and these are adorable. Again, 3D, 3D printed, can't speak today. These are, how would I describe them? Cozy planters, right? And they are different things. I think they're a mixture of like jumpers and coats or sweaters or whatever. We've got like a, a cable knit jumper. We've got, it's, sorry, it's loading them. We've got a really cool like Parker puffer jacket there. We've got, it looks like a suit and tie. We've got a hoodie of course, a sweatshirt, a doctor's um, coat, I think, a bit different. And obviously you get these in loads of different colours. It definitely looks like there is an inner pot, I think, with drainage. And again, that's just really cute. I think my favourite is probably the puffer jacket. I think that's adorable, honestly. So again, these are so cute and they have good ratings, all of the rest. They look very, very sweet. So that's another cute one I found. They're so cute. Right. Oh, this one is... I looked at the shop for the seller selling this and to, to me this was the best thing I found on it. But this is... it's a bit on brand. This is the Monstera Mouth Planter. Does this one glow in the dark? I think they had one that did, but I'm not really sure. But it's basically like, you know, a pink monster planter and it's all spiky and it's got a really cool mouth on it and a little tooth with a cross on it. This is probably quite high priced, but I, it's not 3D printed. I think it is like made properly, which obviously reflects the price. But I thought that was really cute and a little bit more little shop of horrors if that's kind of your vibe whether it's for Halloween or you're just a bit edgy then that's a really cute one as well really like that yeah gorgeous the price quality is superior craftsmanship and the outstanding yeah everything's outstanding yeah it's cute it's cute man so that's another one I found right we're gonna deviate slightly away from planters for a little bit just to like feel for what's out there and given that I've been doing a lot of reading I found these now these are gorgeous we're talking like aesthetic pretty sexy so I have two things in this category for bookends. One, very simplistic, planter bookends. So these are like a black gloss. I th I can't tell if that's drainage at the bottom or it's just the way that it's been made. I don't think it is drainage. So there's just some bookends with, is it? It's just really two cute little bookends and in the pictures they've got a devil's ivy in there. So it's just simple and cute. What's in the bottom? Oh no, I can not see. It looks like there is drainage because that looks like a gauze in there. Sorry, I'm looking at the pictures. Oh no, 
oh, there is drainage. Oh, that's quite clever how it works. So you have the, the planter, there's some gauze in the bottom and there's some vents underneath. And when you look at the, you know, the bottom, so like the, the pedestal that it's on, there's a tiny hole in the very side of that pedestal where the water's going to come out. So you can just water straight into these. I thought that was really nice. I think they have, yeah, their main picture is of it on like a kitchen bench so you can put your cookbooks in it. That's how I see this being used, just so you know, since I seem to be commenting on how everything's being used. I put this, for example, in my kitchen on the island with a couple of little plants in it and probably trim them a lot because they don't look specifically that big and it would look really, really cute. So that's one of the bookends I found. Now, if you're thinking, okay, I'm not going to put plants in bookends. We're not doing that. Just give me some planty bookends. So I found for you the most gorgeous gorgeous. Monstera bookends. And these would look so unbelievable in this room. You can't see it now, but if you've seen any of my living room on camera before, you'll know there's a lot of like wood tones. There is a lot of beige, a lot of wood with pops of green and a tiny bit of black. That's basically my vibe. So these would go absolutely beautifully. So these are Monstera bookends. They're on like a almost like an oak toned medium wood. They look to be a really muted, almost like a eucalyptus green and they are edged in, I can't tell if it's wood or like a brass color. I can't tell from what I'm looking at and I'm, I'm here on my phone doing it. I actually can't tell which is which, but the craftsmanship looks absolutely gorgeous. These really do suit and I can tell because I'm looking at the photos that the seller has put up. It does suit like a living room environment or more of like library vibes, but I just think these are so gorgeous and they would make a fantastic gift if you're thinking about Christmas. Christmas or something like that. So that's something really nice I found. Obviously everyone's raving about it in the, the reviews and stuff like that. It just looks really beautiful. So there's another one if you didn't want a bookend with literally a plant in it. Because I get it, not everyone does. Not everyone does. Completely get that. So this I found because it was just cute and I think by the time I'm looking through all this stuff I'm getting stuff like recommended. So this came up. This is not bookends guys. It's a bag charm and you're probably thinking, Ugh, right okay fine. But this one's very classy looking. Now I'm not a charm person, okay? I don't like, like in my decor, I don't like, I, I call it doily things, do you know what I mean? I don't like bits, I don't like trinkets, I'm all for an ornament but they've probably got to be bigger, bolder, not a lot of them. I like my decor to be quite purposeful. If I'm sat in a lot of clutter, it's not my vibe. So the same sort of extends to accessories. I sometimes like things a little bit more, I don't want to say masculine, but I don't like really girly things, right? But this bag charm is actually lovely. I think it's made entirely out of leather and it is two, it's a set of two monstera leaves. So the, the leather, oh, I can see the clip that it's on. Yeah, it's on one of those lovely little clips. The leather is obviously a nice chocolate brown for the strap. And then the Monstera, the, I don't know how they've done it, but they've, I don't know if they've done it for the photograph, but they're slightly curved. It's really nice. The Monstera is a beautiful deep green. So it's not that really annoying light green you get. It just looks really, really nice. And some of the photographs here, it's on a black bag and it looks incredible. So I don't think, you know, I think you could probably put it on any bag you want, obviously, obviously, but it looks really, really nice and really, really classy. I would actually have it as a keyring for my car. Now, I don't know how it would fare up, and that's not me shitting on the quality of the product. That's me saying I put my car keys down in staples and all sorts, like my phone. I do have like a charm that's, not a charm, sorry. <laughs> I've just said I don't like charms, like a strap that goes on the bottom. At the minute it's off just because I keep putting my phone in crap. So it's off at the minute and it was off the holiday in case it got wet. But it would look so, it would look really cute for that actually, to be honest. But it's just something really, really nice. And I just thought, you know what? It looks classy. It's planty, but it looks classy because that's how I prefer my stuff to be. It really is. So here is another thing I found. Again, it's not a bag charm. It's not, it's, is it decor? Yeah, it's decor. Oh my God, how rude. My battery just went right as I was about to start the next thing. Right, this is, you could class it as decor, you could class it as a useful functioning thing, but I just, I thought this was really cool. Now there are a couple of other people selling this. I think it's not like a completely original idea, so you could probably shop around a little bit. I think there's like variegated versions and non-variegated versions, but I love the idea. I really love the idea. So this is a plant coaster set, but the cool thing about it is it's a pot with basically Monstera or variegated Monstera. Is that an option? Yeah, I think so. It's just a little pot plant and all the coasters are on, I think with magnets. It looks like you can move around the petioles and stuff like that, how you want. How cute is that? So you just pull off a leaf when you want to use it as a coaster and when you're done, you just put it back on. Now, of course, this isn't necessary. You can just get normal coasters, even Monstera leaf coasters and stack them up, not a problem. I just thought this is completely different and it could make a cool gift. I guess a lot of these are turning into gifts just because to be fair, it's just the time of year it is. But I just thought they were really cute. 
cute. Really, really cute. Again, people are loving them. This is probably one of my favorite things, fast shipping and very well-made item. Um, brilliant product, great color and design, easy to assemble, packed well. Love this, perfect addition to my plant room. It, you know what? Brilliant in the plant room because it's not going to be very obvious that it's... I'm not saying it looks like a plant, but you get what I mean? It's not like stuff that's out. It sort of fits in with the vibe. So I actually thought this was really, really cute. Really cute. I love that. I wonder if they ever do different ones. But yeah, really, really nice one that I found and I just wanted to show you it. What else do we have? Oh, this. Again, I don't know. I tried to find out who originally made these, right? Because I'm not sure. I feel like I've seen these around. If I haven't seen them around, it's because this one business has been really good at marketing and it's made me think they're everywhere, right? But this here is so useful. I'm going to have to get one of these. This is a Monstera-shaped plant support. So now we actually have something for your plants again. And it's so cool. Basically, I think it's either like brass or copper or something thing. Is it brass? Can't tell. They seem to be different ones, I think. And it's obviously reusable and it's not going to rot because you just stick it in your soil or your substrate or whatever. Oh, they've got different colours. Sorry, I'm, I'm watching the video now on my phone. They've got different colours. Oh, I like the original personally. And it's in the shape of a Monstera leaf. But obviously what it's going to do is if you've got a Monstera that's trying to just go all gangly on you and, you know, it doesn't have to be a Monstera, of course, but a plant that's trying to grow outwards. Case in point, Thormatophyllum, terrible for it. Alocasia, terrible for it. If your light's not brilliant. It's going to keep it from doing that. And it looks so minimal, yet so functional. It, you can clean it, you can do whatever. I think these are really, really cool. So I'm looking at a listing by Kindred Earth GB. But remember, I set this to ship to the USA, so they should ship to you. And they just look really cool. Again, I don't know if they're the original creators of this. I don't know, because I have seen stuff like this around. But I guess this is just me saying, look at the kind of thing you can get. And it just seems really useful. It doesn't seem to get in your way. Oh, they've got a champagne gold. Oh, that would be for me, that one. Oh, that would be for me. Yeah, a lot of these are shown on Monstera. So it just seems to be really useful, really minimal. You're not really going to notice any your plants if you're a quite minimal person, but it should do the job because my version, excuse me, cat. Oh, they're going to fight. Be nice to each other. Oh God, my cat's on one. My version of doing this in the kitchen is not so good. Basically, I've got loads and loads of green Velcro tape everywhere. It's not sexy. So I would love to change it to that actually and get one of these at some point. They look really, really nice. Oh, the one last thing I have, and uh, they are on Etsy, but they are taking a break from their Etsy store because I think they sell their stuff differently. I they have a website which I will link, even though I will link the Etsy page but I think they're closed for the moment. So depending on when you look at this video, it might be up. Otherwise, I will link their website as well down below. But this is something really cool. I actually happen to have them here because I've got some myself. So there is a seller on Etsy and off Etsy called Nicole's Jungle. And they do the cutest thing. And honestly, this would also make a great gift for Christmas because I think you can either buy these miniature paper plants standalone or you can get i think it's either a standalone kit or they might do a subscription as well where you can make your own little paper plants and i must show you mine because they're so adorable apologies for my fingernails i snapped all my nails off i painted them and then i picked off the paint so we're back to square one apologies this is not ideal but this is what they are they are the cutest little paper plants and even in the base of the pots there's little pebbles and stuff like that and they look so cute sat amongst like a bookshelf or even in between some plants. It really depends what you've got going on. Personally, I like them for bookshelves just because my cats can't get them because I wouldn't want my cat to chew on this, personally, because my cats are demons. I don't know if you can hear them throughout this video, but I can, and they're tearing up my house. They don't like change. I'm sat in the living room with a big light on me. I don't think they're vibing with it. But how cute are these? So yeah, I think there is a subscription for these if you want to do that. I, I'm saying this, I haven't looked. They may do standalone options as well if you want to buy it for Christmas. You can either buy them ready-made, I think, or you can build them yourself. I think they are kits to give you everything you need. I think all the tools and everything. So if that sounds like something they might want to do maybe do it because how cute is this this is philodendron golden dragon by the way variegated obviously and this mm, this is philodendron gloriosum how cute is that honestly honestly how cute is that so that is those as i say i had those anyway i've had these for ooh a while over a year i've had them quite a long time so i think the coles jungle has been going a long time but anyway i think is that the last one or is there something else Oh, there is one more thing. There is one more thing that I almost skipped past because it's not on Etsy either. So it sort of fits into the theme. I wanted them to be on Etsy, but they, they're not, unfortunately. So I don't know where these guys ship to, but I found these on TikTok, right? And they are called Mayhem Made. Sorry, they have 
a logo with skulls in and had to decide if it was an A or an O. So they are Mayhem Made and they are 3D printed planters from basically they do classic horror movie planters, right? So this is more of a Halloween, but they do like, I think they do Scream, they do Friday 13th, I'm pretty sure they've got like the Saw doll and stuff like that. But they look... Their horror, the reason I put them on this list is because they're horror and they're edgy, but they look quite classy. Like they don't look, you know, they don't look gimmicky. Like some of the, the stuff obviously on the list today for like plant pots and stuff, planters, looks a bit gimmicky. If you want something that looks quite classy, but still horror and it's like your vibe, then these are absolutely it. These look absolutely brilliant. Are they all hanging? I can't tell if they're all hanging. They might be. I'm not sure. I don't think they are. Hang on. Let me just go into the shop. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, they've got lights as well. They've got key rings. No, they do have normal planters. Oh, these are so cool. We've got Freddy as well. We've got Freddy Krueger. We've got um, It as well. We've got Pennywise. There's a few cool things in there. Oh, my God. We've got Out the Clown. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm sold. I am so sold. So, yeah, these just, these just look kind of classy for horror decor. So, if you're into it, great one. Again, that'll be in the description, but it's not on Etsy, I don't think. So that'll be like a normal website. And I honestly didn't check to where they ship because it was kind of like an honorable mention. But anyway, that concludes my list of like fun Etsy picks. Let me know if you want me to do more of these. If there's some specific things that you feel that you want me to find, I will have a look. I've got all the time to look. And I probably will do some more of these. I just, I just don't know when, just whenever it feels right, whenever I find a bunch of cool shit. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope that you've at least found something on here useful. Maybe you've added it to a wish list for yourself or a Christmas list maybe. Or maybe you've just upgraded some of your decor. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video guys. Special shout out again to Skillshare. Again, please use my link in the description. It is absolutely free. You get a month. You get to try it for yourself. Totally free. And if you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know I'm making content that you enjoy. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you could do so. Until next time, I'm going to go see where my cats are because it's gone very quiet. Bye guys.